transformation we are going to look at shear transformation so let's look at the basics of shear transformation this is one of the uh, nani isometric transformations which includes enlargement stretch then shear then it is an invariant line or axis so the transformation can be parallel to the y-axis or to the x-axis then lastly it is a scale factor like all the uh, nani isometric transformations so there are types of shear transformations one with a shear that is parallel to the x-axis then a shear that is parallel to the y-axis so in, in this lesson we are going to look at the shear that is parallel to the x axis so the matrix for a shear that is parallel to the x axis is one k zero one you can see that my factor this k stands for scale factor so you can see that uh, if it is parallel to the x axis it is at the top right here. Yeah? Let's maintain uh, uh, these ones. Then here yeah, the top right is our constant which represent the parallel uh, uh, the x axis uh, invariant. Then when calculating the vertices of the image using this matrix, let's look at this example. Triangle is vertices A, 1 and 2B, 2 and 2 and C, 1 and 1. Triangle A, 1, B, 1, C, 1 is an image of triangle ABC under shear transformation parallel to the x axis scale factor 2. So this is our K. This scale factor is our K. Then the first step is to formulate matrix for a shape ABC so let's do this matrix of a triangle ABC this is vertices of A, B and C this is 1, 2, 2, 2 then 1, 1 then shear matrix this is our key so we must replace this is scale factor which is 2 so here yeah, we multiply the matrix of transformation this is the shear parallel to the x-axis times the matrix for the shape so row by column 1 times 1 is 1 plus 2 times 2 so it's 1 plus 4 which gives us 5 then here is 2 plus yeah, it's, it's uh, 2 plus 4 which gives us 6 here it's 2 plus 1 which, which gives us 3 then here is 2 to 1 so you can see that these are the vertices of our image. Let's draw it on a Cartesian plane. So I will label this is my x, this is my y. So these are my points. A is 1 and 2, B is 2 and 2, C is 1 and 1. Therefore, after a shear transformation parallel to the x axis, we plot A1, we found that this is 5, 2. B is, uh, B1 is 6, 2, then C1 is 3, 1. So you can see that this is parallel to the x axis. It's moving uh, towards the, the direction of an x axis parallel to the x axis. Then the other thing to note here is that the coordinates of y does not change for each vertex. You can see that uh, these two, these two, and these one for the y axis, it does not change. Only the x coordinates changes when the shear is parallel to the x axis it moves along the x axis but maintains the coordinates for the y for the y axis